Welcome to Collins Concept. In this tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how I created these, these um, transparent kind of transparent text you're seeing. I'm going to be showing you, walking you through on how I created it. So let's jump right in. So I'll go straight to my Pixel Lab. So the first thing I'll do is to import my image. Let me delete this. From gallery okay so I'll position my image well use my grid lines let me change the background color to white it down a little bit so let's lock this now to lock this you just click on this um, lock icon here so let's lock it here then let's bring in our text text click on edit let's uh, capitalize everything click on ok then increase the size. Sorry, I'm rushing. I don't want the video to be all that long. If you don't understand some of the keys I'm clicking, you can go through my other videos where I explained all these. So let's change the font to Monsterat Bold. Yes. So the first thing you do is let's color this text. Choose whatever color you want to choose. Let me just go with black. Click on good. So you on your grid lines. This will help you on your grid lines to on your grid lines. You click here to on your grid lines. Then you on your magnet, which is here. You on the magnet. Then um, let me position this grid line somewhere here. Click back here, then use my magnet to place it well. So the first thing I'm going to do is send this to the back. Send this text now to the back. You're going to see it here. This send to back here. Click on it. The text is going to go to the back. So let's color this. Okay, we have colored the text. Then the next thing you do is copy the text. Click on copy. Then you draw the text down. To the same place that's why i say your grid lines are very important so that it will be placed on the second text exactly but this time around you're not going to send this to the back it's going to stay at the front of the image there then the next thing you do is go to color then you click on this plus sign then you reduce the opacity totally reduce it click on ok now that text is no longer there if you notice no longer there you click on good then you go to strokes use your strokes you click on it um, you can change the color to whatever color you want to change it to let me go with white then you reduce the width of the stroke or you increase it whatever way you want to do it but me i want to reduce the stroke to two click on good and there you have it this is how you can achieve this also don't forget to subscribe it's still all collins concept